see the second uh, presenter of today's session was uh, dr yogi uh, he was my student as well as uh, the first speaker roshni ma'am and uh, he did his research in uh, draft area under the guidance of uh, roshni madam who was the first speaker today and he is a very hard working man known for uh, uh, patience and doing very good work Uh, for the past two years, he has been trustee of Pi Mathematics Association, doing uh, many help to us. So, on this occasion, I welcome Dr. Yogesh to present his talk. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, can you see my uh, screen? Yes, sir. You can continue. Uh, uh, it, it is uh, viewable, uh, Yogesh. Yes, we are able to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, thanks, uh, Dr. Kishore, and sir, for giving the opportunity to share my ideas about uh, the application of linear algebra. So before I start my lecture, I start with the quotation given by the great scientist uh, Galileo Galilei: "Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe." Uh, so since we know that mathematics is cool, there are plenty of applications in that, irrespective of uh, the field. So there is a reason uh, Galileo gave this much uh, great importance to the mathematics. As we are all studying mathematics, okay, there are we are studying so many concepts in mathematics like uh, uh, so we are studying so many concepts in mathematics, starting with algebra, complex analysis. Differential calculus, Dell calculus, matrices, real analysis, Fourier series, like since graph theory also, we are studying so many concepts in mathematics. But so before starting uh, every concept, two things that I want to students to keep in mind are one, for what reason the concept to be introduced? Okay, the any concept that I have introduced in mathematics, there is a logical reason behind it. It's not just like the views uh, uh, by any mathematicians. Okay, there is a strong Reason for introducing those concepts, and moreover, what are the concepts that we are studying? They have uh, at least some applications uh, attained to various fields. So, as a student, you are supposed to try to identify for what reason it should be introduced, and you have to identify uh, how it is applied in various fields. This will create uh, uh, an interest to learn the subject most effectively. Uh, we get a lot of uh, sources are available to uh, learn these things uh, very easily. Actually, you can Google it up, uh, and you can see, see the lectures given by the MIT professors, IIT professors, that they can teach in a different way, like not like us, uh, our uh, traditional method. Actually, we are we uh, as as our uh, syllabus um, concern, we have only on the you are, you are reading only the working rule. Okay, how to solve? If suppose if a gamut is given, you know, find what is eigen eigen how to find eigen values, how to find the capital equation, eigen values, eigen values. But we don't know the what is the geometric meaning of those things. So what are the concepts that we are studying? Uh, so that there have there is uh, some geometric meaning or physical meaning is that that uh, so that we supposed to know that. Okay, those things is handled by the uh, professors on IIT and MIT. Those two. Okay, they don't, they have uh, they give different lectures which help the idea and the concepts of what we learn uh, very clearly. Okay, if we um, utilize these days actually for learning something new from these uh, from the. Uh, from the uh, learn learn new things of the concept of mathematics through uh, such uh, sources. So though we uh, so we, uh, since we have some basic ideas actually, just I want to share because everyone knows the uh, say uh, mathematics students everyone knows the uh, trigonometric table, right? Okay, but uh, do you ever think uh, how sine forty five is one by two, sine one by root two, sine thirty is one by two? But we know the table, okay? We know the value. Everything. So even if you are sleeping also, you can just ask uh, what is the value of sine forty five? Everyone knows the one by root two. But do you ever think uh, how sine forty five is one by root two? High sound that is uh, one by two. This this is some basic thing that is there in the book itself. But we never uh, um, think of learning those things. We just we just think and the max the collection of uh, formulas. It is not like that. For every formula, there is a logical proof behind that, and also the the reason also should be there. Okay, just to give how sine forty five is one by two. So I take right angle triangle. We know that uh, right. I think now I need to. For the all right angle triangles, 
you can choose a, a right value as a 90 degrees angle A. <clears throat> angle B at 48 degree. Okay, my, I, uh, well, as we know that the number of angles of triangle is uh, 180 degree. So obviously the angle C must be equal to 45. So what is this person name of this triangle? Uh, apart from this uh, right angle triangle, since the base angle is a new world, this triangle is referred as the isosceles triangle. So what is the isosceles triangles? The two sides, uh, sides will be uh, equal. So let us take the two sides to be A A. So now by using Pythagoras theorem, we can able to find the value of BC. The BC is nothing but square root of AB square plus AC square. It's nothing but square root of A square plus A square. It's nothing but A into square root of 2. Now let us see what is sine 45. As we know the definition of sine uh, sin and theta opposite by hypotenuse. So A by A root 2 is nothing but 1 by root 2. So we can find cos 45, that is also adjusted by the hypotenuse. So A by A root 2 again is 1 by root 2. So this is a simple idea, okay. So maybe some of the students may be aware of these sums also. Let's go on to share this uh, for those who have uh, no idea about it. Okay. So what are the concepts that is trying? Please try to understand why it uh, how it is coming, okay. So this uh, uh, is the the curiosity of learning such things, okay. So only that uh, uh, working rule is not sufficient, but it is common. Let us see what is meant by any algebra. So linear algebra is the mathematical discipline deals with matrices, with cases, and real So we are not studying ma matrices, right? So starting from nine standard, okay. But uh, we are thinking with matrices, the arrangement of numbers, and rows and columns. Okay? No, actually, the matrices have plenty of applications in that. Uh, in every overarching actually, okay, how the mathematics play a very important role, and uh, that uh, so the usually the matrices have the plenty of uh, uh, applications in the various domains are very similarly. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, as we all know, that a uh, system of equations actually that is the, one of the main applications of matrices to find the solution of a system of equations. Okay, so uh, that we are studying the uh, Gamma's tool that is called standard. Okay, how to find the solution of such equations. Uh. So, now I think system of equations uh, that is. Uh, 2x minus y is equal to 0 and minus x plus 2y is equal to 3. Now, this system of equation can be the two different way. One is row picture, other one is column picture. The row picture is the usual picture that we already refer it. The column picture is a new approach. Okay, let us see what is my new row picture. So, I convert this uh, given system of equation the matrix form. If you do uh, row Wise, actually, you get this equation to x the same uh, equation what you given is that 2x minus y is equal to 0 and minus x plus 2y is equal to 3. So, what is this graphically represents? Okay, that means uh, we are find we are going to find the, the point of intersection of these two lines. Okay, as we know that these two uh, equation, equation of the line, okay, if you see the graphically, we want to find the uh, point of intersection that is nothing but solution of this equation. So this is the graphical meaning of this uh, row picture. Okay, so uh, this is 2x minus y is equal to 0 and uh, minus x plus 2y is equal to 3. So 2x minus 2 0 is nothing but it's line past the origin. So <clears throat> you see there's a 1 comma 2 is the meeting point of these two lines. Okay, that means what? So this 1 comma 2 satisfies both the equations. That is solution of our equation. So what is mean by column picture? Okay, so we treat the each and every column of this matrix as a vector. So that is the new approach. Uh, okay, uh, we are thinking of that element uh, as matrices is just a collection of numbers, but uh, the, the, the main reason that we introduce the matrix is nothing but what this is the uh, for representing the vectors. Okay, uh, so we are supposed to treat each and every column as a vector. So if you do like this, x times so the first column. That is x times the first vector plus y times of the second vector is equal to 0, 3. That means the linear combination of these two vectors will produce a vector 0, 3. So our what is our aim? Our aim is to find the which linear combination of vectors will produce the vector 0, 3. So that is the uh, new approach uh, of uh, this system of equation in the different manner. Okay. So that is the main purpose of introducing the concept of matrices. That is to study the linear combination of vectors. Okay, so uh, our aim is uh, to this problem concern uh, which linear combination of vectors will produce the new vector zero comma three. 
So as we all know that what is mean by linearly independent vectors? A set of vectors v1, v2, v3 up to vn are said to be linearly independent. Okay, if alpha 1, v1, alpha 2, v2 up to alpha and v is equal to zero, provided if all the alpha should be equal to zero, that means no other combinations of v1, v2, v2, vn produce zero okay, except the zero combination. Okay, so that is the definition of linearly independent vectors. Okay. Let us see this example. I choose a vector v1 and v2. v1 is a vector and v2 is nothing but the twice of uh, v1. Okay, if you see here, v2 is equal to 2 into v1. Okay, if bring v2, uh, v2 in this side, v2 minus 2 v1 is equal to 0. Now, whether the v1 and v2 independent or not, no, it's the dependent vector. So, you can see from the figure itself, they are, depend, uh, they are dependent on each other. v2 depends on v1. Whereas from this equation point of view, we see here, what is uh, alpha 1 here? Minus 2 and beta uh, alpha 2 is here 1. So the linear combination of v1, v2 produce 0 vector, uh, but not c1 and c2 is 0. Okay, if both c1 and c2 is 0, then they are said to be linear independent. Okay, but if c1 not equal to 0, c2 not equal to 0, but the linear combinations become 0. That means what so these vectors are uh, dependent vectors. So how to check whether the given vectors are linearly independent or not? Okay, so you have to write down the uh, vectors as, as here uh, columns of a matrix A, and if you multiply some scalar C will see to C and is equal to zero. Okay, so usually you know uh, how to check the linear independent or not. We have find the determinant of that matrix A. If the determinant value is uh, zero, we can prove that if they are linearly independent. Why? Why it is uh, sorry, if it's not equal to zero, they will prove that another. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the reason? So as we know that if the determinant of A is not equal to 0, okay, actually there is a printing message. If the determinant of A not equal to 0, that means we have, we have a, a unique solution. Yeah. So unique solution means what? As we know that uh, the system of homogeneous system of equations have unique solution if all the unknown should be equal to 0. So all C must be equal to 0. That means what? The given it as linearly. Okay. If it is Determinant of A equal to, equal to 0, then obviously it's infinite many solutions. So, some scalars also are uh, not equal to 0, but the linear combination becomes 0. So, by definition of uh, linear independent vectors, so it fails the condition, so it becomes linearly dependent. Yeah. So, that is the printing error, it's not determinant of A equal to 0, it's determinant of A not equal to 0. So, let us see what is mean by. Uh, Transformation. Yeah. So if the transformation is there, uh, the transformation is a fancy uh, transformation is a fancy word for a, a function. Okay. So what do we mean function? If we give a number as input, uh, we get our number as a output. Yeah. So if we define two minus three, we get output is everything. So that is the transformation. We give a, a vector as input. And we get the output as a output. So that is the reason I use the fancy word instead of uh, function, I use the word uh, transformation. Let us see how the transformation uh, uh, plays in the vector. So, what is the transformation? Transformation is nothing but some matrix. In that matrix. Suppose I choose 1 and minus 1 as the, uh, my input vector. Let us see what is the output vector. So, just you have to multiply this matrix with uh, the multiply this vector with the given matrix. That is our transformation. So, you know how to multiply it. You will get the answer to what? Minus 1, minus 1. So, if I get 1 minus as the input vector, I get minus 1, 1 as the output vector. So, the transformation, what it do? So it, uh, if you give an input as a vector, it will go out here, out, uh, vector as a output. Let us see this uh, in the picture visually. So if you so have a input vector, uh, after every transformation, it moves through the, uh, like this. So initially, the yellow color is here, input vector, the pink color is just corresponding output vector. After the transformation. So, like that, each and every vector uh, in the uh, two dimensional space moves somewhere else, uh, somewhere else after the transformation. 
After public transformation, the emulator should be moving in various directions. But right lines needs to be there. There is no change in the line. And the other also, this transformation is here. I will see here, after public transformation, the line becomes curved. It is not linear. In this example, the R is moving from one position to another position. Again, it is not linear. So in this example, you see the line is uh, the R in the picture. Under the uh, lines, means to be lines of transformation. Whereas here, the line becomes converted into curve. Again, it's not any transformation. So here, lines means to be line, and the origin also fixed curve. So this transformation is referred as a lead transformation. This is rotation uh, transformation. It rotates every object to one position. This uh, shape. Okay. So how we are get the idea what so after after we are we are moving at the end of the vector, we get the output of the vector. Then we see how the vector is moving in the direction. If lines begin to line and the origin is conditioned for satisfied, then we say the lines should be a linear transformation. Let us see what is mean by identity. So we are all studying the how to find the eigenvalues. Yes. The matrix is given. We are trying the characteristic vision by, by using the determinant of, determinant of a minus lambda equal to zero. So once we get the characteristic vision, we assign the room for the characteristic vision. That's nothing but eigenvalues. So how to find eigenvalues? You know the how to uh, you know the procedure of finding the eigenvalues. Yeah. But what is what is the best geometric anything? Yeah. It's supposed to know what is the geometric meaning of eigenvalues and eigenvalues. Let us see now. For a uh, higher matrix, what they are to do, it adds as a function, and which gives their uh, vector as the input and flow of the vector. Let me know the transformation. So the output vector moving in various directions. We are, so this is the first example I show. Uh, so the input vector should be a yellow color, and the output vector should be a pink color. Yes, sir. So the input, uh, uh, the input vectors and output vectors are output in the uh, moving in various directions. So we are specially interested in both vectors in the same direction as the like input vector. That means what? So the input vector as the output vector are moving in the same direction. Those vectors as the input vector are referred as the eigenvector. So let us see the uh, see this one example. Uh, the transformation of the vector one comma zero. See here one comma zero move. Same direction of the uh, vector on plus zero and is moving to three plus zero after this transformation. So one comma zero comma one moves to the different point actually. So one comma zero is uh, moving to the, the same direction. Yeah, it moves to three plus zero. See here, this uh, one comma zero is moving to different point. Uh, that is one comma two. That is not uh, eigenvector. Next example, minus one comma one. So after the transformation, we see that the yellow color line should move on the same line uh, or same direction of the input vector. So uh, one comma zero and minus one comma one are referred as the eigenvalues. So the range in which uh, it, uh, if we see here. Uh, 1 comma 0 is the, uh, the input data. So what is the output data? 3 comma 0. So 3 comma 0 is nothing but what? 3 times the 1 comma 0. Okay, 3 times the 1 comma 0. 
So one comma zero is my input data. Three into one comma zero is my output data. Like output data. Okay. So we know that if two vectors are uh, uh, related by these uh, scalar multiple other one, they are going to be parallel. Means what? They are lying in the same direction. So one comma zero and three times the one comma zero both lie in the same direction. In what age should it stretch to actually three? Okay. This number three zero three. I can make charge. Uh, so I can value. And one comma zero is the I can make charge. So again, I uh, repeat it. So what is the I can make charge? So the vector, the input vector, and output vector should be I on the same direction. As for this example, answer one comma zero is the uh, it, sorry one comma zero is the first I can make charge because after after transformation it moves the same direction. Another example minus one comma one. After after transformation, so what is the answer we get minus two comma two. Yeah, that doesn't work. You take two outside, so two times the minus one one. So the input vector and output vector are the same direction. So in what direction is stretch casting two? So that two numbers is nothing but I get value and minus one is nothing but I get charge. This is the geometrical unit for the I get value and I get charge. So projection matrix. Projection matrix means what? We project a big bar every vector to their sum a direction. Yeah. So we don't have time actually. Uh, so I rushed to this bar. Uh, so I'm so curious what it means by. Give you an example. Suppose a is the matrix zero one zero one zero. I I choose the vector uh, x one one so I nothing say that the uh, matrix uh, at least I choose uh, I want I want the out output vector of the then into the one comma one so what is the output vector should be one comma one that is what one times of x so that that means what I get is in the same direction so one is my I get value and one one is my I get vector so what is second again vector One minus one. If you multiply this one, what do you get? Minus one, one. Right? It minus that is what? Minus times of one minus. One. That means if my input vector is x, the output vector is what? Minus x. That means what? So both input and output should be like uh, should be parallel. So that they uh, they have uh, no, they they are the same direction. Yeah. So this one minus two so does the I get the uh, minus one is the corresponding I get value. And uh, this is uh, actually uh, a usual procedure. What you do? Uh, we are trying to the eigen values then come to the eigen vectors. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but it's not possible to check uh, the input every uh, vector. That is, uh, which vector should be in the line? Uh, we need to find the procedure or find it with lambda. Uh, so we know that uh, the what is the eigen vector? So after transformation, the same x uh, should be scalar multiple vectors. Yeah. Transformation of the eigen vector x is equal to lambda. So that's the reason we are using uh, this one. On I mean, a x minus one equals zero, you know the a minus lambda is equal to zero. So now in this part, we are going to solve some of this system of equation. Again, this is the whole system of equation. So I need another uh, non-zero solution. Determine value is zero. Not equal to zero. Then we have another you know, unique you know, solution. Or this is the other unique solution. Okay, but I need another you know, non-zero solution. So we need to find. उटेंट I need uh, the condition should be determined by the mass equal to C. So that's the reason uh, behind the gas mass equation. I apply the formula determinant of a minus lambda equal to zero. So like similar, uh, the every concept the device basically uh, stress the linear means what? So we know the procedure. Yeah, okay, uh, by finding the eigen value, first we need to do determinant of a minus lambda equal to zero. But we suppose no determinant of a minus lambda equal to zero. Determinant. We do the dimension of matrix. I think we will get this in a lot of time. Let us see what is meant by determinants. 
Because we all know that the uh, right, matrix is given, you okay, can find the determinant. What is the main difference between matrix and determinant? The matrix is uh, just correct from the alignment numbers and rows and columns, whereas it doesn't have any value, but determinant have and there some unique numbers. Some determinants here. Yeah. Number and the idea of more information or less information about the yeah, if the determinant is zero, we can put it what? The matrix is similar matrix. Yeah. So, like the single number will give you more information about the matrices. Okay, so what is the determinant? Basically? Okay, let us see what is the determinant. What is the The ratio in this area gets scaled by the transformation. You know that the author of the transformation uh, push the vector should be a movie in the various direction, right? Yeah, so if you choose some uh, close vector, okay, so the area is also in the area that needs to be increasing or increasing, uh, increase which or uh, I want to find in what ratio that the that area decreases or decreases after applying the mean transformation. That ratio is nothing but the determinant of the matrix. So let us see this example here. So, what is the meaning of this one? So, 1 comma 0 is my standard vector. After the transformation, if you multiply this vector with 1, 0, I get 3, 0. So, 1 comma 0 is moving into 3 comma 0. Similarly, if you multiply this matrix with transformation, that means if you do the 0, 1 as the integrator, of course, the corresponding operator is 0, 2. So, this uh, this in color vector uh, is there. Output vectors for the vector integrator 0, 1. In green color line, is the uh, output vector for the integrator 1, 0. So now we see here. Okay, so this is the original vector. Yes, okay, so 1, 0, 0, 1. So what is the area covered? It covers the 1 unit because this is the one. This is a very square actually. So area, area is a little bit more tight in the side. So this area is about 1 unit. Yeah. So one minutes. Now see after the transformation, what is my new area? So see here after the transformation is yeah. Uh, length is three and breadth is one two. Multiply to get six. So initially it will be uh, one unit. After the transformation, the area is increased to uh, six minutes. So now the, uh, the ratio, one determinant of this matrix, we know that in the six, if we can uh, find what the determinant of this matrix so is six. Okay, now uh, the same six number is nothing but the ratio in which uh, the area is getting increased after the transformation. So that is the geometric meaning for the uh, determinants. So uh, thank you so much for listening. So, uh, so in this lecture, I give uh, you Job, what is the job meaning for the uh, linearly independent vectors, linearly dependent vectors, and uh, we are seeing the what is mean the eigenvalues of the eigen vectors, and what is the geometry of the presence. Moreover, we see and, uh, what is the job meaning for the internet. So much uh, to the viewers.